money. We always love to have it, but we don't always like talking about it. How much we make, how much we spend or save, or our fears about investing it. But none of these topics are taboo for the women of the wealth edit. Whether you're an Emma, Prim, Heidi, Sarah, Polly, or a Jim, there's a path for you and your money. Because the financial industry is always treated women as a niche and, and we're just not anymore. We're half the population and so we always say it makes sense that women feel uncomfortable because it, it wasn't built for them. But the Wealth Edit is a financial space created by women for women. Maybe going from a dual to single income situation, it's maybe you're single for longer than you thought you were going to be. Well, there's all sorts of reasons, but 95% of women end up as the financial head of household. So we're really trying to coach them up in the next two decades because also another fun fact is women are going to inherit 70% of the wealth in the United States over the next two decades. The online membership-based company Teaching Financial Literacy to Women initially launched as an in-person concept. Well, four days later, we go into quarantine. So we basically had to just completely ditch our business plan and say, and we're both over the age of 40, mm -hmm. okay, now we're an online community. Yeah, Lauren Pearson and her partner, Emily Lassiter, took vastly different paths to arrive at the same place. Lauren is a Georgia grad with a degree in journalism. The married mother of three relocated a few times before settling in Birmingham. I actually Googled best jobs for women and it said <laughs> financial advisor. I said, what, you know? And so I started talking to people about it and it really was aligning what people wanted to do with their lives, their goals, their values with their money. And it sounded like something I would be good at. Emily, an Auburn grad and University of Alabama Law School educated attorney, switched careers at the age of 43. You know, what we do at Somerset is, um, a, it's a niche practice. We do a lot of complex planning and we serve a very small number of families, but both of us do have a heart for women mm -hmm. and for women understanding their finances. And so the wealth at it is just this awesome opportunity to reach so many more women. She became a single mom after losing her husband in a tragic accident, an experience revealing how much women are underserved by financial advisors. Oftentimes we see financial in institutions take something that they've had for a really long time and just like put a pink bow on it and, you know, serve pink champagne, at this, but it's the same conference. And so <laughs> what Lauren and I are trying to do is to really create something different, create an environment where women feel like they can come together and like ask real questions. Helping build not just wealth. And there's lots of incredible female advisors across the country. We really want to get to know those women and build a network of other advisors that can contribute to the community too. But also a financially savvy sisterhood. Carla Wade, WVTM 13.